Yeah. yeah. No, thanks. No, I know I got first place, coach. It's because I was so motivated. Motivation. For some, it comes as naturally as liking pizza. For others, it comes as naturally as not liking pizza. But enough about how wrong those people are. Today, we're going to talk about staying motivated in your academics. First, some history. Motivation comes from the Greek word motivi, which of course means to want to do something. Now, I don't care if you're Michael Jordan or Michael Phelps. Like a used car from the 90s, at some point, your motivation is going to break down. But you, you're an academic Vin Diesel. You want to keep that motivation fast and furious. Oftentimes, to achieve our goals, we have to go through several pointless, meaningless steps. It's like when your parents make you get your wisdom teeth out, even though the dentist assures you they're not going to be a problem. Is it going to hurt? Yes. But keep that end goal in mind. Suffer through those academic wisdom teeth, and you'll have a big smile at the end. Like a wild beaver, at some point or another, that river is going to break through your dam. But instead of a beaver, you're a student. Instead of a dam, it's your motivation. And instead of a river, it's life. Everybody is going to experience setbacks at some point. But don't let it get you down. It's okay to feel frustrated and disappointed. Let it be a learning experience. Build up your fortitude and build a bigger dam. Lastly, set small goals for yourself. It'll build up your confidence, and reaching those goals will improve your motivation. People with a high level of motivation uh, find importance in their tasks, trust in their abilities, and use their stumbling blocks uh, as stepping stones. Uh, pay attention to where you fall in these categories, and keep working uh, to reach your goals.